this be one of the best moments of your life. You're listening to the Business Mirror Podcast for a broader look on business with Senior Editor Dennis Estopase. Welcome to Tuesdays at BM with Laika, where Business Mirror columnist Laika Balita shares with us her thoughts on life. For the text version online, please go to the Business Mirror website and search for Laika Balita. For the print edition, please read Laika's column onwards every Tuesday in the Business Mirror newspaper. Let's get on with the story. Let's talk about pride and progress. June is Pride Month, and as I've emphasized in my previous podcast, there are many important things to protest. Pride is a protest before anything after all. Still, Pride is also a celebration. We celebrate not only our existence, but also our progress. It's a reminder that our protests work even one step at a time. Years ago, the LGBT plus community existed primarily as stereotypes. The funny gay best friends who dressed well, or the short-haired lesbians who were good at basketball. We were the entertainers and comedic relief for media. Today, however, we no longer exist in stereotypes. Mainstream media now includes respectful representation of all kinds of people. We are portrayed as students, professionals, parents, office mates, executives, artists, lawyers, among others. And most importantly, we are seen as humans. We are real people who exist outside clubs and bars. And we are not just side characters to a straight person's story. We even have shows, films, and novels with LGBT main characters. This is, this is revolutionary, you know? The younger generations are so lucky that they can see themselves properly represented in all kinds of art these days, which is undoubtedly a more accurate representation of the world anyway. Other than representation, we have more public figures either proudly coming out or publicly supporting the LGBT community. Unlike in the past when people thrived on gossip that a celebrity was gay, today, celebrities themselves, they just casually come out on social media and their supporters are so happy for them. More often than not, their fan bases even grow. They earn more followers and more fans because they're authentic and they come out themselves. As someone who grew up hearing my sexuality used as an insult, I find this surreal. People can actually come out publicly these days when during my time it was taboo or frowned upon to even say gay or lesbian unless it was to taunt or humiliate or insult another person. It's still difficult to reclaim the words such as bakla or tomboy. Even just saying them out loud or even typing them feels uncomfortable, even for me. But it becomes so much easier upon the reminder that these words should not be insults in the first place. Arguably the greatest progress we've made so far is with families. Many parents today are proud. They're so proud and they stand up for their children regardless of the sexuality. Pride marches, you know, these usually happen at the end of June. Before the pandemic, pride marches, we had parents who were there just to celebrate with their children. They were not gay, these parents, but they were there to celebrate their gay children. Sometimes they were even there to hug and show support to those kids with homophobic parents. And these kinds of parents, they deserve the world. It's true that representation today is still not perfect. Many are still forced to stay in the closet to save their careers or their lives, and there are still children who are disowned or kicked out because of their sexualities. Still, we have to fight on. Challenges may be discouraging, but we have to celebrate our progress no matter how small, because progress is still progress in the first place. We owe it to those who have fought for the community from the very beginning, and we owe it to ourselves too. It's great fuel, you know, it's great motivation to see the fruits of our own protests, of our own acts. Today we have so much more acceptance, confidence, and love, and a lot less hatred, suicides, and violence.
Many of us, especially the youth, the Generation Z, are safe and accepted in our own little circles. There are some of us who are accepted by the general community, usually because of exceptional fame, intelligence, or privilege. These people are usually seen as exceptions to the general rule of homophobia. And these people, they are so incredibly lucky and safe. However, we have to remember, in the words of Riz Ahmed, exceptions do not change the rules. Again, exceptions do not change the rules. These exceptional people accepted by society despite their sexuality, you know, they have not changed the rules. Discrimination and homophobia remains the general rule. Hence, if we are one of the very lucky ones who have the power to change the minds and perspectives of those with homophobic or other discriminatory ideologies, we should not stop at our own safety. We should not stop at our own convenience. We have to fight on for our brothers and sisters who do not have the same privilege that we do. We fight on for our brothers and sisters who face violence and threats every day. We have to continue to make safe spaces as we open our eyes to the realities outside our little safe bubbles. There are many developments to celebrate, of course, and there are many issues to protest. But this is precisely what Pride is all about. So may we celebrate Pride and continue to protest. Thank you for listening to the Business Mirror Podcast. For a broader look on business, follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Business Mirror. Until next time.